Hello everyone, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make this quick ocean uh, with a little bit of foam. Um, it's not in super insanely highly realistic, but it is just a little quick ocean with foam. I decided I'd make a tutorial on it. Um, here is the node tree. Um, it's a very small uh, little material that I just made, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make it. Um, so first, we're going to go ahead and open a new project. Um, if you already opened a new project, great, You've already, you're already a step ahead of me. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete this default queue by hitting delete or X on our keyboard. Um, we're going to hit shift A and we're going to add a plane. We're going to hit S and then 20 to scale that plane up 20, uh, 20 times its size. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the modifiers tab, which is this little wrench right here. Um, add modifier and then ocean. Uh, so once we add the ocean modifier, we're going to make a few changes. So um, under spatial size, we're going to go ahead and change that to 20 or the exact size that we scaled the plane up to, that's going to restrict um, its size to what the original plane was. So we're going to go ahead and set that to 20. And so you can see that uh, lowers the ocean size down quite a bit. Um, also, I recommend sharing the resolution in your viewport up to at least something like 30. Um, just that way, so you can have a little bit more detail in your ocean. Um, you can change the time, depth, size to whatever you would want. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on the default ocean that it's generated right here. Uh, you can mess with all these. It messes with just how the ocean looks um, if you want to play with around with it for a little bit. You can also do waves and all that. Um, this foam, I'm not sure how this works. Um, it's on a vertex channel, um, vertex colors and all of that. Um, I don't know how that works, so we're going to do it the easy way. So. Um, going up here um, under the Blender logo, if we just click um, and drag, we will split our window. Um, and you can drag this to any size. I recommend leaving both of them kind of a good size because you're going to be working in both here. Um, go back under the Blender logo and go into Shader Editor. Um, you can go ahead and click N on your keyboard to close this little toolbar and to reopen it if you want. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and do is first off, we're going to go back over to the right um, to this little camera icon. And we're going to change our render engine to Cycles and Device to GPU Compute. If this little device on um, GPU compute is grayed out for some reason, you can go to the top left and edit preferences, wait for this to load, um, system, and then whichever one your graphics card is in under here, whether it's CUDA, Optics, or HIP, you can choose your graphics card and then that should be fine and dandy, ready to go. So the first uh, thing we're going to start off with uh, creating this water shader is a glass shader. So uh, the glass shader is pretty much the easy cheese way to any water shader. Um, all it requires is just a change of one variable and you have water. So we're going to go ahead and click new. Uh, once we click new, it'll automatically give us a principle of BSDF. We're going to go ahead and delete that for now by pressing delete or X. Um, and now we're going to hit shift A and we're just going to type in glass. And we're going to look for the glass BSDF. We're going to put that down. We're going to change the index of refraction or the IOR to 1.33. 1 1.33 is the index of refraction of water and whatever it's set on by default I guess is the index of refraction for glass. Um, you can look up index of refraction for different objects. Um, there's like a whole list of it online for like plastics and glass and water and all that. Whatever transparent objects you might need. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and do is we're just going to connect this BSDF to the surface of the material output. Uh, we're going to change the color to kind of a bluish like that. Um, and the roughness can stay the, uh, stay fine for now. Um, but that's all we need for now to get this initial glass uh, water set up. So uh, for the lighting, I'm just going to go with a basic um, sun background. Um, if you go to the world options and under color, if you click this yellow dot, you can just change it to sky texture. Um, and once we do that, if we go into rendered by hitting Z, uh, we can go up to rendered view. And we should see that we now have this glass um, or this water shader, basically. Um, so what we can now do with this um, is I'm going to go ahead and pull up the picture of the node tree. Um, give me a second. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to add a principled shader into this. Um, and this is what's going to give us our foam. Uh, we're going to add a principled shader into this and it's going to mix together and give us our foam on top. So uh, if we just add a principled BSDF, um, we can add this in. Uh, the next thing we're going to need is a geometry node. 
Um, so if we type in geometry uh, by hitting shift A and then typing in geometry, we get this node. And this uh, node basically does a lot of stuff with geometry, like the positions, uh, the position of vertices, um, normals of the object, true normals of the object, um, a bunch of things I don't understand. Um, but what we're going to be focused on, <coughs> excuse me, what we're going to be focused on right now is this pointiness. Um, so we are going to um, take this geometry node, we're going to hit shift A once again, we're going to add a color ramp node. And this color ramp basically mixes blacks and whites um, together um, and does a bunch of stuff that, again, I don't understand. But we're going to take the pointiness from this geometry node and put it into the factor of this color ramp. So now once we have that, what we can do is we can take this principal BSDF, this glass BSDF, and we can combine them. So if we hit Shift A and we search for Mix Shader, we can go ahead and drop this in here. Um, and there we go. Um, and now we can take the principal BSDF and then connect it to the mix shader. Um, so now once we have that, we can see that we have all sorts of random things going on right here. Um, but if we take this color ramp and we put the color into the fact of this mix shader, we can see that once we pull this up, this is happening. So this is what's going to give us our base foam right here. Um, and so... I like to put this at 0.498. Um, I think that is a good kind of little foamy uh, type deal here. Um, so once we do that, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to add a little bit of subsurface. I'm going to put 0.1 on this. Um, this is just so light comes up from this and it just looks a little bit better. Um, next thing what we can do is we can hit Shift A and add a buff map. Uh, we can connect the normal to the normal on the principal shader um, and then we can change the strength to about 50 and then we can take a noise texture uh, not a white noise texture but a normal noise texture um, and then connect the color to the height of the bump and yeah the height of the bump uh, we can change the scale change the detail um, change the roughness and all that to something a little better. Uh, change the distortion to a little bit if we want, maybe 2.5 ish. Um, and then you can also add on other um, kind of no uh, textures too, um, like a musgrave texture. Uh, we can put this into something like the scale or detail or. Um, just anything like that really uh, I'm gonna leave that alone for now whoops bring it back there we go um don't know what happened there but um but yeah once we have this what we can do as well is we can hit shift a and add a glossy BSDF add another mix shader um, and then drag, uh, just drag this mix shader in between the principled and the original mix shader. And that will automatically connect it. We can connect our glossy. Um, and then we can change the roughness to whatever we want. So I'd say something maybe like that. Um, if we look at our ocean right now, this is what we have going on. And so once we have this, that is pretty much it. Um, you can play around with this foam, um, these settings. Um, basically, uh, the way we have this foam just where it should be is this geometry node right here, this little pointiness. Um, that's basically telling Blender wherever there are higher points on this geometry to place this foam. Um, and we're using this principal BSDF um, to have the actual white. Um, you can do a lot of things. You can replace this principal BSDF with anything. You can combine it with anything if you want to kind of change it up, um, see how the foam looks in a different way. Um, do anything like that, but this is basically just a little starting point. Um, it gives you some foam, it gives you an ocean that looks real enough to just kind of pass on something. If you would want to animate this, it's as simple as just animating the ocean itself. You don't have to do anything in this shader. You could just uh, change any of these settings, animate it however you want. Um, very simple, very easy ocean to make. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you did, give the video a like and subscribe. Um, I love you all. My name is Michael from Polygon Island, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.